Italia gaining strength big time tonight. It is uh, knocking on the category three mark at the moment. And as Ben's getting ready to tell us, probably going to be stronger than that when it hits landfall. That's coming up. But today over Cuba as it heads to the Florida coast tonight, more airports are closing. Sarasota's airport is now officially closed. And take a look right now as we're showing you our live Max HD radar. Right now, the big hurricane is just west of the city of Tampa. There you see Tampa there, and there you hear it see spinning at uh, Category 2. But again, it's been saying that's going to be up here in just a matter of moments. Still heading northeast toward the Big Bend of Florida. The storm has 100 mile per hour winds in excess of that. Speeds are growing. Mandatory evacuations are underway, and that's where we find ABC News. Hurricane Adalia inching closer to land. The storm, now a Category 2 hurricane, with wind speeds in excess of 105 miles per hour, expected to hit Florida's Big Bend on Wednesday morning. The National Weather Service calling Adalia an unprecedented event, since no major hurricanes on record have ever passed through the region. Adalia's outer bands already causing havoc in the Sunshine State. Winds picking up speed, rough surf in the Keys, Tornado warnings near Naples, but the biggest concern, life-threatening storm surge. Governor Ron DeSantis ordering evacuations for low-lying areas in 22 counties. It's the strongest hurricane since I've lived here for 40 years. It's come to our area. FEMA urging families to follow the evacuation orders and get out while there's still time. If you are in a storm surge warning area, it could mean just traveling 10 or 20 miles to get out of the most significant um, impact areas. It does not mean having to travel hundreds of miles to get out of the storm's path. Here in Tampa, the city's main hospital erecting an aqua fence around the building to keep the water out. Further north, the barrier island of Cedar Key boarded up. Almost everyone is gone. Governor Ron DeSantis says the city could see up to 13 feet of storm surge. All this as state and federal emergency crews make preparations. Elite urban search and rescue teams are on the ground, along with power crews from as far away as Maine, anticipating major power outages. The Florida National Guard deploying 5,500 guardsmen to assist with storm prep and response, all while the DOD stands ready to assist. The storm is now causing concerns in neighboring states. Georgia, North and South Carolina are now in a state of emergency. In Tampa, Ike Ajachi, ABC News.